using CIJ printers. That's continuous inkjet printing. This is an industry standard that has been out there for many years. They require lots of maintenance, dedicated manufacturer representatives to come out to your plant, as you know. I'm gonna show you today some new technologies called DOD, drop on demand printers. These require very little to no maintenance. They're cartridge based. And I'm gonna show you several of these models today that may be something of interest to you. Okay, so what we're gonna learn here today are the differences between CIJ and DOD. And as I said, DOD requires little to no maintenance. It's an easy cartridge-based gravity-fed ink system. It's perfect for small to medium and intermittent or sporadic production runs. DOD is more cost-effective for small to medium businesses. And the two technologies we're gonna talk about are TIJ and Piezo. Here's some of the packaging we're gonna be printing on. We're gonna be printing on some cardboard boxes, the secondary packaging. Uh, this is with red ink and black ink. This is for porous surfaces. It's going to be the oil-based ink. We're also going to be using solvent-based inks, and we'll be printing directly on glass here uh, on the bottom, on the side of the glass jars, and the plastic tubs. We will be printing um, probably on the lids of those with a solvent-based ink, so you'll see how that works, as well as these little bags, um, these plastic bags with uh, Best Before and Mieux Avant uh, type of labeling on it. So we're going to get started with that now. So the one form of DOD printing is called micro piezo printing. I'm gonna show you two printers from RN Mark here today. This is the RN Jet 100. We're gonna be printing with solvent-based ink on glass jars and plastic jars. And this is the E172 printer, which will print a larger print head. We're gonna do secondary packaging with this. I'm gonna show you how to change colors as well. We're gonna start with the micro piezo printers. The RN Jet 100 is mainly a standalone printer. It's four basic components. So you have your display controller unit here. The bottom is the ink cartridge and ink system. The print head here and the photo sensor is attached to there. So again, it's a small character printer. You need to choose if you want oil or solvent ink. It's a standalone printer and there are four basic components. So we're gonna be printing on some glass jars with a solvent based ink. This is the message that we're going to be printing here on the display. And we're going to talk about the maintenance with the purge button there. Uh, basically, it's a simple three-step process. Spray, purge, and print with a piezo. So here we are spraying. And then I will do a purge. It's just a quick purge to get the ink flowing. And then we print. It's simple as that. Here we're printing on some uh, white tub, plastic tubs. And here's an example of how the, the prints came out with that example. Again, this is the solvent-based ink. We have a serialized uh, example there as well. So we could mount the print heads face down or sideways with these printers. And here's the size of the print that I actually did. So it's about three quarters wide by uh, about half inch high, I believe there. Uh, it's a half inch letter height max for the print area. And now we're printing directly on the glass to the side. As you can tell, we do need to have a conveyor system of some kind. And here is the, the controller and the print mode goes on. And here we are now printing on the bottoms of the jars. So I just got to give you a variety of how you can set it up and print on a variety of areas. And that ink is uh, solvent based so it will uh, hold up okay with on glass, plastic, metal, those kind of places. Now the E172 printer. It has four basic components as well. It has its ink system, it has a photo sensor, a print head. This is a larger print head with a 72 model. And it also has a controller, but the controller is different with this one is that it's window based. So you need to use a PC or you can purchase a tablet. It connects in various ways, but the ethernet is the easiest and you just plug it into either the tablet or your, your PC system. Uh, you can do dynamic variable data with this. That's what makes this one unique. So if you have uh, databases that you're going to be drawing from. So summarizing, the E172 printer is a large character printer with, again, choosing oil or solvent-based ink. It's Windows operating system. So you need a PC, a laptop, or a tablet to run it. And it's got four basic components as well. So the print height on this unit is 2.8 inches and it has an adjustable bracket it comes with and it has an arm that is adjustable for the, the print head and sensor system. And here is the actual controller. Uh, it goes into standalone mode once you've actually 
imported the messages to him. So now you don't need to be connected to a PC. And once again, there's a three simple step process, spray, purge, and print. So we'll give you a little bit of example here uh, of the, the larger print head. So we sprayed it. This would be like a simulating the beginning of the day and you will do a quick purge. You'll see the ink flow here in just a moment. You'll see it come out of the print nozzles there. And a quick wipe of that and you're good to go with the print. This is the secondary packaging that we're printing on here on cardboard boxes and cases. Like I said, it's a two and three quarter inch letter height. So in this case, we're printing black oil based ink. And now here's a tablet. I uh, just want to go over a few things on how easy it is to use and how uh, it's specifically designed to print with this printer. And you can see you could just basically bring in your logos, your images, your text uh, fields, easily change the size fonts and such uh, windows just move around there as you can tell now we're going to just see that message once again and in this case we have red ink now I'm going to get into more details of how we change the the color and the maintenance involved in just a moment hang on we're going to do the TIJ printer first now that we're done with the piezo systems I want to switch it over. I'm going to put this on my demo unit for you to see now. This is the TIJ printer. This is actually even less maintenance than the other one. And uh, we're going to show you how that works next. So the H1 printer has three basic components. It has the controller and display. It has the photo sensor. And it has a print driver. So what's nice about this TIJ system is the printhead is contained within the ink cartridge itself. This can actually eliminate a lot of potential issues. Once again, the maintenance is a simple three-step system. And in this case, we shake, we insert the cartridge, and then we print. So we just give the cartridge a shake. Remove the cap, insert the cartridge, and we go into print mode. Click that down, and you print. It's as simple as that with TIJ. So again, at the end of the day or the end of the break time, for maintenance is very simple. You just remove the cartridge and you put the, the cap on that it comes with it. Uh, it keeps the, the print head sealed. It keeps it from drying out. So uh, if there are times when with time it is possible that your print head may dry out a little bit and if you do have that problem, it's, it's usually a very quick, simple fix, which is just taking a little lint-free cloth. You dab the, the nozzles on there and you can get the ink flowing again. Again, you can give it a little bit of a shake and usually your nozzles will start to flow freely again. Uh, what's nice about the system is if it didn't work, you could just simply replace the cartridge and go, uh, go back to printing. So here we're again printing on these uh, little, little baggies and the print area with this printer is approximately a half inch maximum height with one head. And I'll show you the uh, print size here in just a moment. You can see the sensor light flashing as it's reading. Uh, you, could, you can even stack multiple heads to get a larger print area if that was what you were needed. We can help you go over all those details. Here's the size again, three quarters by about a half an inch-ish uh, with, with this example. Here we're going to print from a different angle on the lids of glass jars. These are metal lids in uh, this case. And you're going to see here in just a moment how fast this ink dries. The solvent-based ink dries in approximately three seconds, depending what what material it is you're printing on. And it dries really quickly. This is what one reason why people love the TIJ system. The size here again, this is a half inch by about three quarters of an inch print. Now we're going to get into changing colors with a piezo going back to the piezo system. So here's your ink cartridge. Um, if you were printing black and you say you wanted to switch over to red. So we're going to remove the cartridge. We're going to insert a cleaning cartridge and we're going to clean the system. So here's the cleaner now in. This is a clear fluid basically. You would do this with oil and or solvent base, depending what you have. You're going to hit the purge button here at the bottom. And you're just going to press it firmly, quickly. And what it does is just kind of pump some ink and some cleaner through the system. And in this case, because we want to put the red in, we're going to just um, 
run the clear through for a little while to get the black system cleaned out. Once we're doing that uh, and it, we're done, we'll actually also probably change the hose over. We have a, a hose for each color, which is simple to do. It just pops in and out. And then we'll put a red hose and we'll insert the new cartridge, which in this case is a red oil base ink. And we're going to repeat the purge process just to get that red ink into the system. So there we go. We're just going to push that button and I have replaced the red hose as you can see there. And now you can see red ink flowing. And now we're good to go. Now we just go into print mode again. I like to sometimes just do a little um, pre-print with, with a piece of paper there to make sure that it's looking decent. And now we're going to go back to regular printing. You can see we have red ink flowing now. There's a system in red, a little uh, different angles and view of the actual print quality. And now I'm just going to talk quickly about the supplies that are available for both piezo and TIJ. So again, I was talking about the hose. In this case, so we were printing blue or red uh, ink. Here are the supplies as an oil-based cartridges. They are black-colored cartridge. And the solvent-based are red cartridges. We cannot interchange the colors within the systems. And here is the TIJ cartridges, which are water-based or solvent-based. That's aqueous for water. All right, so in summary, what have we learned? DOD requires little to no maintenance. It's easy in a cartridge-based gravity-fed ink system. It's perfect for small to medium and intermittent production runs. It is definitely more cost-effective for small to medium businesses. And uh, we have two different technologies, either TIJ or Piezo technologies. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to subscribe, comment, like or dislike, and hit that alarm bell to get notified of all of our videos. Feel free to leave a comment if you've got any questions. Thanks a lot.